Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we had a great question on one of our videos. Somebody was asking about making dynamic breadcrumbs up here. So you add a breadcrumb to the top of your page and when you change pages, we're on the page called Double at the moment. Let's go to Excerpt. Watch that breadcrumb when I change to Excerpt. It's going to change dynamically to the page name. Really easy to do with Divi using dynamic content. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. Let's go back to our double page. Let's enable the Visual Builder. And let's get rid of this little breadcrumb section I've got up the top and we'll start from scratch. Okay, I'm going to add a new section. Doesn't matter where you add it because we're going to drag it up the top. So just click the little blue button wherever you like. I'm going to make mine a regular section. I'm going to put a single column in there. And I'm going to use a text module. Text module is right down the bottom here. Divi comes with all these grey modules as standard, plenty enough to build just about any site. OK. Now you'll notice when a text module opens, and this is common to most other modules, there's a little icon right there that looks a bit like a hard disk or a bunch of disks stacked on each other. This is for dynamic content, which is what we're going to use today. And this is a great little feature of the Divi website. So let's left click on this one. And I want to use the actual page link itself down here. You can use page archive title if you wanted to. It does pretty much the same thing. But I'm actually going to use the link itself. There's the page link. OK, and before that, we want to put the levels that are above it. So basically, all I've got on this side is home. Now, if you had home and a subcategory of projects, just put projects in there for the subcategory. I'm just going to leave mine as home because that's all I've got right here. I'm going to put a little gap after there, a space. Now you can see my dynamic page content is already visible. And the reason that that link is blue, the double right there, is because that's the default link color I've got set in my customizer for the Divi theme. OK, and I don't want to put anything in after because we don't need anything after the page link. Great, so let's just go to our design. I want to make mine uppercase. I'm going to go over text. I'm going to make mine bold. I'm going to make mine uppercase as well. That makes it pretty visible for us, which is great. So let's save this now. And let's just pop this section that we created right up to the top, because that's where you want your breadcrumbs. You want people to see them straight away at the top of your page. And there it is at the top there. Now my section is a bit too wide, so let's make it a size that we like a bit better. We can take the padding away altogether by going into the section, Design spacing and in padding you just put a zero hit the chain and it'll do the opposite side if you're happy with that save it if not put in the amount of padding that you want I'm pretty happy actually that's not too bad let's try five picks that's what I had before so I'm going to save that okay it's the size we want it now what we want to do is make this link so anytime they click on it, it wants to go back to the home because they don't want to be able to click on the double because they're already on that page. It's not going to help them, but they might want to go back to the home. So let's go in there. And I'm going to add a link. I'm just going to add the home page link from my URL up there. Control C to copy. I'm going to paste it in there. Now, anytime they click on the home, it'll take them back to the home page, no matter what page it's on. So when we're happy with the size and the shape and everything, let's save our section here to our library. Little round button there, just left click, add to library. We'll give it the name of bread. Save it to library. OK, well, let's save our page changes here. Let's create a new page now. And just for fun, I'm going to call it XYZ. 
Let me use the Divi Builder, obviously. I'm going to build from scratch. I'm not even going to put any content in there. I'm going to just close that down. I'm going to hit the blue button to add a new section. I'm going to add from the library. And there's our bread right there. And we just need to pop it up to the top of the page. And there's our breadcrumbs. And as you can see, it's got our new little title on there. If I just save this, publish, exit the visual builder. When I click on it, it'll take us back to the home page, which is actually double is our home page. And there we are. Now, if you wanted to, you could go and create a new page and save that page as a template and just load it every time if you wanted to have that appear on each new page. But it's in your library now, so you can add it to the top of any page you want, and it'll automatically have the page title up there. So there you go, guys. That's how to create automatic page breadcrumbs for your Divi theme using dynamic content. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.